from your world champion, San Francisco Giants. Give it up, everybody, for Brian Wilson! A pineapple under the sea. Okay, all right, Captain. What's 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 happening with the outfit? Well, you know, when I meet folks for the first time, they say, "Hey, you kind of look like a few characters." Chuck Norris, one of them, with a little edge. Are I you look... Chuck Norris with a little edge? A tiny bit. How would you relate your pitching to Chuck Norris? Well, Chuck Norris has been known to throw a hundred mile an hour fastball. I've been known to throw Chuck Norris a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> Now, now are, you, are you a nautical man? Are you, do you have your own boat? I do have a schooner. It's double parked out front. <laughs> I have 15 minutes until I get a ticket. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> that's, that, that's better. So, so Brian, you, you like the water? Not particularly. No, no. <laughs> Old Spice? I love Old Spice. Red Lobster? I like lobster. Ceviche? Mm, yes. <laughs> You know, this is almost like, this is almost like on Halloween when a, a kid has a costume that they really like and they just wear it like for weeks That's after. That's exactly what we're doing here. <laughs> I wanted to closely relate to a semen. <laughs> not, come on, not that kind of semen, folks. That's a tough costume to pull off. A friend of mine did it seven Halloweens ago. But speaking of semen, you, you went in the off season to Thailand. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> How was that trip? Well. You know, I engaged in some activities that I'm proud of. <laughs> I did what any normal 28-year-old single male would do in a foreign country. I had a lot of massages. <laughs> you had a, you, you, you had a lot of, you, a lot of massages, but they got massage parlors here, though, in, in Thailand. No, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves, my man. Not those kind of massages. Oh, oh. They were strictly sexual. <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't think that's what I meant to say. They're, they're, they were consensual. They were consensual. I'm digging myself a hole here. Uh, <laughs> just foot massages. Because, you know, when you're a pitcher, you have to, what's very important is your release. So, when he, you're, he gets right? it. Yeah, I get he it. He gets it. Were you recognized in, in Thailand? People, baseball's very Not big. too much recognition. Uh, there were a few folks out there that uh, did recognize me for a few things. You, uh, but for the most part. Are you bringing out the gimp? That's the machine. He, uh, he says hello. That's the machine? Yeah. Explain to me what the machine is all about, Brian. Oh, he's a figment of your imagination. Uh, he's not really there. He's not there, but he is. <laughs> and you respect him. I ran into my aunt's, off, uh, my aunt's bedroom one time. She was dressed like that. <laughs> what is the gimp? What are, what's gimp? The powers that the gimp has? Well, ESP, <laughs> for one, he knows, he knows what, what you're what thinking. thinking right exactly, now, right this, now. That you're a crazy mother. That's debatable. <laughs> so, the, all right, to be, to be a closer is like being a gunslinger in baseball, right? You, you, yeah. have, you, have, to, you have to not fear anything. Exactly. You got to, you know, like you said earlier, you got to be a little bit crazy. You got a little bit crazy. Yes. What is your process? How do you prepare yourself to be like that at that particular moment in the game? Well, by the time I get in the game, I'm just raring to go. I mean... Yeah, you're warming up in the eighth inning just to prepare for yourself, and it's, uh, if you don't get in the game, it's pretty much called the dry hump. And that's a term in baseball when you almost get in the game and you're right there for the apex, the shooting we are talking about earlier. You get dry humped, and then it hurts. <laughs> so by the time you actually get in the game, you want to murder someone. <laughs> you do. So it, crazy's out the door. You're, <laughs> you're insane by uh, situation. <laughs> I love it. There's nobody better than you. So, so I heard that when you're dry humping, you, you, keep, you keep the balls that you practice with. I do. I just throw them in the locker. I think I had like 300 or so this year. I was dry humped a lot. <laughs> Real backed up. <laughs> but you, do, you, you, you don't, and you don't date them. You, no. You, no. How do you know when you threw that ball? Well, you know, a reporter asked me the same thing. He said, Brian, you know, you got all these baseballs in your locker. You don't date them. What's the significance? How can you tell they're even there? Can you tell them by smell? I said, you're right, my friend. I can tell which ball I use by the smell, whether it's game used or not. 
I said, really? Yeah, this one particular, July 3rd. You're welcome. <laughs> let's, talk about, let's talk about Xbox, Major League Baseball 2K11. Like John Madden and Tiger Woods and Pac-Man, you have your own video game. Congratulations. Thank it's you. own game, Major League. You did, you did a commercial where you spoke to your avatar on the phone. Check this out. Here's a clip of Brian. Oh, you think your beard's sweeter than mine? No, it's not sweeter than mine because nothing is sweeter than this beard. Not even the most perfect honey is sweeter than this beard. Oh, you think you're going to have a better season than I do? We'll see. End. Realistic game here. If you're the first person to pitch a perfect game, a legitimate perfect game, you win a million bucks. That is awesome. Can you believe that? Hey, will you stick around and play Minute to Win It with Guy? Of course I will. All right. Can we thank Brian Wilson and his Finding Nemo socks? Thank you. Check out Major League Baseball 2K11. It's coming out March 8th. Brian Wilson. How's it hanging? In this challenge, the contestant must hang a banana from a string attached to their waist, with the bottom of the banana positioned 12 inches off the ground. Using the momentum generated by their hips, the player must swing this dangling banana to knock two oranges across the floor and into a hula hoop. All right. <laughs> we just saw the rules. Brian, George, guys, get your hanging bananas over in the right location. OK. George, Brian. You got a minute to win it. <laughs> Good luck. The game begins in three, two, one. Gotta go that way with it. Hey, don't touch them. Don't let those touch. Come on. Work your food, Brian. Work your food. <laughs> You're doing it. Just seen the baddest show in late night. Good night.